guys, K Pisces from KPisces.com, and I am here today with a video just to try to help y'all out. Now, this is something that I talk about in my personal life all the time, okay? All the time. But I just feel like today I need to bring it to you. So maybe because the moon's in Scorpio and my Pluto was activated, honey, that I'm supposed to tell you this today, but I just feel like I need to say it. I want you, for the first two weeks of Pisces, is to research an ancestral spirituality modality okay and practice it just for two weeks I'm not talking about a secular you know broad-ranging religion that everybody thinks is right because they're supposed to do it because somebody else told you you're supposed to do this and that's why you're doing it because somebody else told you you're supposed to do it no hell no what I want you to do is research whichever ancestral spirituality that you are called to do that is of your ancestry yours research it practice it just a little bit I mean put your toe in the water okay just put your toe in the water just a little bit okay practice your spirituality because I'm telling you if you have never been empowered before with anything that you've been told to do or told to believe or given by generation to generation that's not secular let me tell you something honey you just don't know how much power how much resilience how much support that you have from your ancestors that you are just not utilizing honey you are not utilizing your birthright. You're just not, you're just not doing it, you know? Well, some of y'all may be. So what I need you to do, like I said, this don't have to be a huge commitment, but I want you to practice your ancestral spirituality. See it, how it works for you. I feel like there's a tide coming, a tide coming gonna wash over everybody and I feel like your power and your peace and your spiritual strength and your knowledge and your intuition can be strengthened by the help of your ancestors now like I said this is something that I this is my thing like it's my thing y'all okay you don't know because hey I got blue for his house I tell you what I want you to know okay now Get yourself in that Google, honey. Find out what it is you need to find out. Practice just a little bit. Do some meditation. You know, get yourself in a good place. Everything that you've been taught to believe may not be what you need to believe. Maybe it's not giving you strength. Maybe it's making you weak, honey. You don't have to like it. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> Anyway, so let me just digress. Get yourself all wrapped up with a little bow, okay? In your ancestral spirituality for two weeks. If it doesn't help you and you're doing it right, and I don't know what the hell to tell you, okay? Because something ain't right, okay? Throw away everything that you've been taught, everything that's been preconceived and you've been told you're supposed to believe this, whatever reason you're supposed to believe it. Just because, you know, Aunt, Aunt Susie and Grandma Boo Boo and Grandma, you know, Cousin Pokey, Pookie says that you need to do this because this is how it's done and this is what we're supposed to do because this person said we're supposed to and that person said we're supposed to and that person said we're supposed to. Society said I'm supposed to. This person said we're supposed to. This is what we's all, we've always done. Really? Really? I mean, that's just the dumbest shit that I could ever hear. Maybe it's just me because there's no way on in heaven or earth, okay, uh, anything else you can think of, this galaxy, that I could possibly do something because somebody else told me to. I'd be goddamn. Okay, I'll be goddamn. Okay, as far as what I believe, 
Throw away everything you've been taught. What are you being called to? What are you being called to? If you minus everything that somebody told you to believe, what are you left with? I want you to ask yourself that. Everything that you've been taught, does it speak to you? Is that what you're supposed to be doing? If you feel that way, go ahead with your bad self. But no, if it's not adding up and it don't make sense, if it's contradictory and you're not getting any power from it, if all you can throw at it is hope and you're not getting results, honey, maybe what you need is a reevaluation of what the hell you doing, really and truly. Now, I just, I had to make this video because I needed y'all to understand what it is that I feel that is coming. I feel like it's coming. Like, it's coming. There is a wave. And if you don't have your ancestors to back you up because you've been ignoring what you've been, you've been being told, you haven't been listening to what you're supposed to do, you're too wrapped up in secular, you're too busy if I do this, this gonna happen to me type shit. Honey, if you, if that's what you do, then you go right on here. But I'm gonna do what my spirit has called me to do. And I'm going to give you this. This is a gift, honey. You may not see it as a gift. This is a gift, okay? I'm telling you how to empower yourself and to help yourself and to get yourself in a good place. Oh, you just don't know. Anyway, so that's all I'm going to tell y'all. And obviously I'll be back at you with another video, but maybe not today. Kpice from kpice.com. Check me out for a tell on the whole bar reading. No lies, no lies, no lies. Honey, you want lies? Look in the mirror. Tell them to yourself because I ain't got nan for you.